My name is Lisa Martel DeSantis Chisholm, and because my name is so long, everybody in school calls me Miss C. I've um, been in Shanghai for 20 years now, and my current occupation is Western Principal at this school, VKBS, and my number one profession in my heart is teaching because I've been a teacher for 32 years. So 20 years ago, I came to China for the summer. It was only going to be a summer vacation. I was going to come here for a month. Then I saw the white pan, and then I ate the food, and then I went, hmm, let me check and see, and I decided to stay. My family came to China to visit me five, six, eight times, right? So the first time we went, there's Jing Mao. We go to the land, and you look over there. Wow. So the speed of construction here, in China, if you decide you're going to do something, it will get done. And now, more recently, in the last year, when we had the coronavirus, we see how it happened in all of the world. In China, we have been free to move around and live for a year because they did it the right thing. They did it the right way. At that year, that's 15 years ago, the government in Shanghai uh, said for the first time that you could open bilingual schools. And so I started with 13 children, and after 15 years, we have this. I think it's become more inclusive looking at the whole child. Maybe 15, 20 years ago, there were only a few subjects that were important, maybe only English, Chinese, and math. But now, um, I see that they're trying to make sure that the body is healthy, that the mind is healthy. So looking at the whole child, so I think that that is a really, really good thing. Those kids that I started teaching 15 years ago, there are everywhere in the world. They're in college. And if I need to tell you something that is super honest, there were some uh, kids, Chinese kids, that because they spoke English very well, so they went to Meguan and then they went, oh, I miss China. I love China. U.S. is okay to study, but I want to go home. So many times when you go somewhere else, then you understand your home system. If you never leave, then maybe you don't understand. So you know teenagers come in say, maybe at home with mom and dad, right? So when they go abroad, they see, and then they like home more. When I go to the U.S., I'm always explaining. If they are showing about China, I explain, no, it's not like that. It's not what you see on TV. It's like this. So this is when you live in another country, you can understand a lot more. So if you live abroad, you can really say. Because anybody that says any, anything about China, I said, do you live here? No. So shh. every year for 15 years, when the national anthem plays at 8.15, I stand up with the kids and we give the respect, right? And with the younger kids that maybe don't quite understand what it is, many times it's us who need to remind them. So loving your country, respecting your country, and doing your best for your country is important. Amo Shanghai. Ala Husi Shanghai.